super 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 quick meal um we're just dumping and going for this one it's already late and i haven't even gotten this on but we had a very substantial breakfast and y'all see my onion is sprouting so we definitely need to use it up i need to sharpen this knife but we're just getting some dinner throwing the crock pot so we can finish this very stressful historical essay that Eleanor is writing and has everybody wanting to pull their hair out. So <laughs> need to focus on that instead of dinner. So I'm just going to take this and make it a dump and go situation. So first up, I'll, I'll get my get my ninja turned on so we are at least going that way we are going to cook it on high because like i said just now starting this and i should have started it a little while ago so i'm just chopping up one yellow onion just some rough chops nothing fancy or specific and getting this thrown down into our crock pot Y'all can see I'm not sauteing or any of that today. That is my usual preference when I'm throwing in onions and peppers. However, we just need to move on. We need dinner for us and then just focus on getting this essay done. All right. Up next, if you want a couple cloves of garlic, I've got like two big ones here. I might add in some extra minced garlic if I want some more of that flavor or maybe even some garlic powder. But usually say maybe about five cloves of garlic. So yeah, I'm going to throw in these two big cloves because that's what I have left. And then I'll add in maybe about a teaspoon of garlic powder also. I'm just going to do like a little rough chop. Get those little skins out. Just get them tossed in the pan as well. Oh, I don't think I even told you. We're making some salsa verde chicken in the crock pot. So I have a little over two pounds of chicken thighs. Drop those straight in. Let's put y'all more right there so you can see all the yumminess. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of chili, ooh, or maybe a little bit more, of chili powder. About a teaspoon of garlic powder, and that's just because I don't have quite enough of my garlic that I want to use. And then about a teaspoon of cumin. Right, we're going to add in a little bit of pepper. Maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Maybe about a half teaspoon of salt. We've got one can of diced tomatoes with the juices. One 24 ounce jar of salsa verde. As long as it's more than two cups, you'll be okay. This one's a little bit bigger, but it will work also. Pour that down in there and give it all a little stir to get everything mixed all around and that's it like i said we're cooking this on high until the chicken's done so about three hours and these are chicken thighs so we'll keep an eye out for it maybe four hours depending on how quickly they cook but 
that is it. Dump and go and back to school we go. All right, so we shredded our chicken as y'all saw. Oh, I'm gonna add some of the chicken, the juices, the veggies, everything. Add a little bit more juice. Right over some white rice and just add a whole bunch of yumminess. Whatever toppings you like. We have some sour cream, which I don't like and stuff like this. I'll cook with it, but it's not what I like to eat raw. But just some cilantro, and if you don't like cilantro, skip it. Some raw tomatoes. A few jalapeno slices. And we love some queso fresco. And some avocado. I just got these yesterday, and look, they're already going bad. So, I'm a little flustered about that. Most of it looks good, so maybe they just got too bruised up. A few slices of avocado right on top. His sour cream. And there you go. Super quick dinner. All done. Alright y'all, so we have another super quick, just weeknight, simple dinner for you. It is another chicken recipe. But tonight we're going to have crescent roll chicken casserole and get it all thrown in the oven and ready to go before church. So I've got my he my pan heating up and I just put a couple tablespoons of butter down in the bottom of my pan. I'm going to let that melt and then we'll start building it up. So to my butter I'm going to add a half of a medium onion. Normally I would use a yellow onion but I have this red onion left over or half of the red onion left over from my broccoli salad so I'm using it up. And we're just going to let this saute and soften for about five or six minutes. While that's doing its magic, we're going to preheat the oven to 375. Okay, so our onions are just about ready. So we're going to add some pepper, some garlic salt, just a little bit of Italian seasoning. Mix that around. Okay, so now I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of flour. And this is going to be our thickener for this dish. I'm just mixing it around, getting that flour all mixed in, and letting it cook just a minute or two. It's not going to go too long before the next step. Okay, so now we're going to add in about a half a cup of milk. And about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. About half a cup of mayo. And about a quarter of a cup of sour cream or Greek yogurt. Okay, let's get this mixed all around. I'm making a big mess splashing. And you see that our sauce has thickened really nicely already, but if your yours hasn't, just let it go until it has thickened. It shouldn't take but just a minute or two, and it will thicken right up. If yours seems like it's too thick, just add a few splashes extra of milk. Right. So next up, we're going to add in a 16-ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I like the ones with the carrots, corn, green beans, all of that in it. Kind of like a chicken pot pie. So we're just going to put this down in our mix. And you don't have to defrost them or anything. They can go in frozen. They will fall pretty quickly. And then next up we're adding in about three cooked chicken breasts. I have some chicken breasts that I have canned. You could also use canned chicken breasts if you like just regular from the store chicken. You could use that. I'm just using some that I've already canned up. This makes it super convenient for dinner. We'll just get that folded in. That's perfect timing. Our oven is preheated. I'm just going to mix this all together and we'll turn off the heat. Okay. So it's all mixed together. I'm just going to flatten it out just a little bit on the top 
So if you have an oven safe pan, you can do like I'm doing, or you can dump this in a little nine by 13 casserole and do this next step the same way. But this can go straight into the oven. So I'm gonna show y'all how to top this. So we're just gonna take a can of crescent rolls and you can buy the little crescent sheets if you like. Um, these do the same thing and I don't want to pay the extra expense for a crescent sheet when I can just kind of pinch these corners together. Plus in this round bowl, it might be best to have them like this. So we're just going to take our crescent rolls and lay them across the top. Let's go all the way out to the edge. They overlap, that's all right. You don't want them overlapping too much because you want them all to cook pretty evenly. And this is one of those recipes that's so easy that your kids can even make it, but your kids can make difficult recipes too. We should challenge them also, but it's one of those, especially if you have a beginner in the kitchen, they can make this dish. All right, so I don't have this little part over here covered. I'm gonna steal a piece from this one. But that will be all right. Okay, so just like that, we're all done. It's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes and until that's all crispy and done on the top, all the bubbly bits on the inside will be ready and we'll be ready to eat. And there we go. We're just going to serve it up. Super easy and simple. Now I did let this sit for about five minutes before we're serving it. Um, it should all stay together pretty well, but that will definitely help if you let it sit for just a minute. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Delicious. And super quick way to get dinner on the table with just some regular fridge and freezer ingredients. So our next super quick meal is just some hamburgers for dinner tonight. We have some apple and pear sauce that we've previously made and I put in the freezer. So I have that thawing, but I'm just gonna get all my seasonings mixed into my hamburger patties. I don't wanna mash them too much, but get it all mixed around and in the pan and dinner will be ready super quick. So this is just some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Cajun seasoning, and a little bit of black pepper. So nothing fancy, nothing super spectacular, out of the ordinary. You can even use a hamburger seasoning mix. I just find that I don't really, I don't really prefer those. I don't know what's all, all is in them. So I just know what we like to put in ours. And I did add a little bit of olive oil to these because this is 97.3 beef. So I wanted to add just a little bit more moisture to them. All right, y'all. So I'm going to take this off the stove top and just kind of move it over to the side. That way they stop cooking and I can add the cheese. And just like that, dinner's all done. All we have to do is slice up a little bit of lettuce, tomato. And we'll be golden. And there you have it, huge burgers. And dinner is done in maybe about 15 minutes total. So tonight is orange chicken with cantaloupe, fried rice, and egg rolls. Nothing fancy. Turn on the light so y'all can see. Nothing fancy at all, but quick dinner, getting in some veggies, and no, it's not the healthiest, but it's not the worst by any means, and it's a nice comfort food at the end of a very long day.
And there you go, it's all beige and orange, but it's delicious. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da.